but y'all, that's the word on sanctification. And I pray that God will, will touch you this week and make you holy this week and allow you to see the conviction of the Holy Ghost, allow you to discern your own particular individual boundaries so you can stay away from sin. Come on, give y'all some praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I never like to leave here without allowing someone the opportunity to make Yahshua Jesus their personal Lord and Savior. If you would come here and you would say, Pastor, I don't know if I'm saved. I don't know if I die in the next few days and death is all over the place. People dying left and right, right? And we're living in, a, in a, such a corrupt, moral world that people going... And, 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 and the weirdest places, like me and First Lady were saying, you can't even go to the mall. You can't even be at a school without the reality of death being always present. What are you saying, Pastor? They so demonic out there. They so full of the devil. They so have kicked God out of our culture that, that people killing each other everywhere. Now, we know that, that God is for us and he's going to protect us, but, but what I'm saying is if, if you lost and you don't know God, listen, you could go anywhere and anything could happen. You better make sure that you save this morning. You better make sure that you know him this morning. Listen, in Allen, Texas, not too far from our, our Dallas location, people was going to the mall. Some of them went in shopping. You think they expected to get shot up in the mall? Guy used to race with Urban Walker, used to run with him around Radcliffe. He pulling up his car, get shot. Going to the mall, by the grace of God, he survived, but so many others did. You see? You see? So if there was a time to be saved, the time is now, y'all. It's now, y'all. It's now. Why, Pastor? Because that black horse of death is out there. Is gobbling up people left and right. Young person, listen to me. Young person, yeah, mama saved, daddy saved. And some of y'all, mama and daddy not really saved. But young person, realize something. Realize something. They got a lot of young people dying out there right now, too. If you had to meet your maker this week, would he send you to heaven? Would he count you as one of the redeemed? Are you forgiven? At this altar, we're going to give you the opportunity. At this point, it don't even matter to you what the message was about. This is the most important part. Ushers, open up the altar. And if for some reason, one, you want to make sure you're saved. Two, you've been fighting God on that sanctification process and you've been holding up that conviction. Three, his hand been on you. And you want to surrender to God and say, God, I'm going to get right. If you fall in any of those categories, or this word touch you in any way. Come. Come to the altar. 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 Come on to that altar. Come on to that altar. Let's get right before our God. Let's make peace with our God. Let's let go and passively allow him to have his way with our sanctification. Thank you. Woo. Thank you.
Gonna trust in him. Thank you, Lord. We're gonna trust in him. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna trust in him at this altar. So we, if you're here, you're under the sound of my voice, let's pray. And I really want you to lock in. I really want you to forget about who on the side of you. I want you to forget about what's waiting for you outside these doors. I really want you to lock in. This is about concentration. It's about sincerity. It's about you mean business at this altar. So lock in with me and talk to your God from your heart. Say, my God, thank you. For loving me in spite of me. I've done wrong. I've sinned against you. And I'm not hiding that. I want to keep it real. But I believe that you still love me. And you have a plan for me. And right now, I believe in you. Your death, burial, and resurrection. Forgive me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Give me your Holy Spirit to live inside of me. And help me to let go and let you Clean me up. Help me to stay on the path of righteousness. Give me the wisdom, the strength to know what to stay away from. I give you permission to clean my life inside and out. I surrender to you. I need you. 
can't do it without you. Say, save my soul. And use my life for your glory. In Jesus' name. Come on, give him praise up in here. Give him praise up in here. Hallelujah. 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 I just want to pray over some of you. Amen. I want to pray over you. There's some in here I've been noticing you coming, amen, and some of you, amen, you're going to be members. And the way membership works at Philadelphia is we have a little discipleship training class in the mornings. And, and we'll put on the calendar on the next announcements when that class is. And, and, and regardless if you're a member or not, you come in here, God's going to bless you. But some of you want to make it official. And so when that day comes, amen, you come, you take the little class to learn what we believe. We'll lock you in, put you on the roll. You'll be a member. It's important. It's important. God's going to bless you, all right? Uh, there's some of you as well. Hallelujah. You've been saved now. And you're telling me, you say, Pastor, what's the next step? The next step after salvation is baptism, y'all. Believe it or not, it's baptism. And the moment you get saved and you get serious, you have to do baptism as a, as a physical representation of what you believe on the inside. It's a very spiritual thing. And you can tell it's spiritual because something in you will try to stop you from doing it. Fear will stop you or everybody going to be seen. You know? I'm scared of water. Listen, everybody ain't got nothing to do with this. When you baptize, that's between you and God. Anybody hear me up in here? All right? And God take it serious because when you decide to get baptized, you letting everybody know that I'm going down with the old me. And I'm coming up with the new me. Anybody hear me up in here? All right? And some people get saved, but they still have a rocky problem because they hadn't done the first step after salvation. The first step after legitimate salvation is always baptism. And it's not before salvation. It's the first step after legitimate salvation. We're going to be doing baptism together as a church June 8th, we get it outside, we out there after church, we come, we dunk you. You ain't got to be scattered of water. If an emergency happens, just stand up. The water going to be this high, you are not going to drown. <laughs> just stand up and I'm going to be right there with my hand on you. I'm not going to let you drown. We're going under with the old. Ha! The old you going to go down and not come back up. That's what we want. But we're going to make sure the new you come up. Anybody hear me up in here? All right? So that's baptism, all right? Now, before I let you go, I want to pray a special prayer of sanctification over you. All right? And then we're going to dismiss. Most high God, I thank you so much for you loving this people. I'm just going to pray over you. Just receive it. God, I just pray right now, God. The same way you saved my soul, the same way, God, you put me on that righteous, covered path. I pray that same blessing on these men, these women, these young men, these young women at this altar. And I pray that you keep them on that road of righteousness. I pray, God, that as they walk it, God, that sin and temptation will be few and far in between, God. And I pray, O King of kings and Lord of lords, that when they look back, they'll have 10, 20, 30 years of living sold out for Yahshua Jesus. That they'll look back and have solid families. That they'll look back and have solid financials. That they'll look back and have solid homes that they're drinking coffee in, in the mornings, looking out the windows. God, in the name of Jesus, bless them. And give them a vision of the path that you have for their life. Show them even now the house. Show them even now the sofa, the coffee table. Show them even now the kids. Show them even now the family. 
give them the vision. But without a vision, the people fail. They perish. Do it for them now, King. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Israel, may Yahweh bless you. May Yahweh keep you. May Yahweh cause his face to shine upon you. May Yahweh be gracious unto you. May Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you. May Yahweh bless you with shalom peace. Shalom, O house of Israel. And all those engrafted that's watching. We attach his name upon you. You shall be blessed. Shalom. Love y'all. Be blessed. Thank <laughs> you.